Hey, sneaky thanks man tonight. And tonight we've got Madbox. Now Madbox is based on Ubuntu 10.10, but it comes with open box as its desktop manager or whatever you want to call it. And mighty quick and fine it is. The download is really really small for a Ubuntu based distro, which is about 388. I'm just gonna go through it with you look. There's the exit and all that stuff, there's time and date, we have our volume and our network, a bit of a dingy there, we have our desktop spaces, we have the terminal, Chromium is our browser of choice here, with our file system and the menu, so it looks all really nice, doesn't it? So I'll go through it with you. Accessories, all you get is file manager, leaf pad and the terminal, now graphics you get Mirage. Now Mirage is just an image viewer, so basically they've stripped it all out, basically done the business. So all you've got is open box with an Ubuntu base or stroke Demio base. So you better use lots of packages. Now as you can see, look, it's one of my pictures, so it's legal. I can do it, it's one of mine. Okay, looks really nice, but it's just a viewer at the end of the day. So you would need to add stuff. So it's another one of those distros where you like get the base and add as you go. So we're going to in internet, Chrome Image Web Browser, Office. Now I to install Abbey Word and Genomeric myself because there is no office whatsoever. And bear in mind, if you do download them, you have to restart the machine to get them to come up into an office section. But that's no big deal, is it, really? But I wasn't expecting that. Reminds me of Crunchbang, and when I went through this, it is a little bit related to Crunchbang. So, Genomeric's here, look. Now, with Genomeric, I did the extras as well. There's not just Genomeric in the repos, there's also an extra package for plugins. So I seem to have a few more bits and bobs here to work with, but I'll get Sneaky Girl tomorrow to have a quick look for me, because she does a lot with this little stuff. You know what I'm saying? For school and that. Because sometimes schools are pain at the backside if you want to convert stuff. So yeah, that was pretty good. Back to the menu one more time. There we go. Probably your genie for your genie. Dead beef. I'm not hot on dead beef, personally. You can get your own one. Get known player, and you get a volume stuff. High top, or high top, or high top, or high top, is here, and as you can see, it's only using 88 mega RAM. Now, for a Ubuntu based distro, that ain't too bad, really, is it? It's a little bit better than the LXD stuff like Lubuntu and whatever. Now, I quite like Openbox, it's simple, does what it says on the tin, and that's what I really like. So, yeah. so in preferences, you can do stuff there, and you get additional drivers, GPOSIT, and Synaptic. That is all you get. Bearing in mind, you do not get any Office stuff, I installed them myself. So, we'll open the browser up, Google here, but it's Chromium, not Chrome. So if you've got Chromium, you can have all the super duper stuff, can't you? As you know, if you don't know, ask me. So, Madbox, Madbox Linux, let's go to their homepage. Now, it's from France, so I'm going to translate it for you, because most of you won't even speak French, or you even yeah, read it as another thing, in it. So I'll open the page up, as you can see, that tells you all about it here. Minimal, minimal, minimal. Oh, it is 388, yeah, I was quite right there. Yeah. It's best on the latest kernel, it's 2635, so it's not the, quite the latest, but it does the business, and it's very, 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 very good. It's super bleeding fast. But I mean, if you want a desktop that's really, really fast, and you want a Ubuntu based distro, this would be just up your alley, so to say. Oh, should I say that? No, maybe not. So, yeah, I really like it. So, anyway, wallpapers. I don't really like the wallpaper personally, but then my eyes are, like, really old. So I'll change it for something else. So I'll choose that one there, little bubbly thing. Now that's a bit better on my eyes. Now can you see when I clicked that, it was almost instant instantaneous. It was really, really quick. So if you want a really quick light distro, but Ubuntu based, again, I'm going to say it again, and you want it Ubuntu based, because a lot of people do. This is the problem we're having at the moment. You get into Ubuntu and then oh, you get stuck. But if you want something really, really light, but based on, so you know what you're doing, like Synaptic pack, Package Manager we're doing here. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying, do you? Yeah. If you want to install programs, there's no Ubuntu Software Center. It's a Synaptic Package Manager. Way be told it's, oh, praise the Lord, it's here. So just tap in the distro you want. Distro, what am I talking about? The program you want, and it will be there. So if I scroll down a little bit here, I put in Gimpy as you just see, and you get Gimp and just basically highlight it and off you go and install it really really simple i'm not going to install it now because i've shown you how to do that so many times so i'm not going to do it now no i'm not no really i'm not going to do it now you know how to do it got a bit of conky down the bottom there so your cpu and ram usage but hey now on the whole this is really really good distro i like it sneaky legs out